let's do this video okay we got up into the attic first thing I'd look we are selling all kinds of insulation I'd look for what this attic would need and we look at it and we'll see what it, what it has in it first thing I'd look see does it make code our code right now is R38 in this attic here's a piece this is actually for the attic access door but it's the same all the way through the attic it's an R it's about one foot thick about 12 inches and even the label it is an R38 and look at the quality of the install and you see you know down the run this is actually going into another attic all the way that way that would be my den and anyways but it's very nice well well tucked together very nice installer whoever installed it wasn't me but they were a uh, very professional installation okay okay we'd come around look for it just in general we're looking for accessibility can our guys get all the way in this attic look around yes yes and we come down to this spot now we look in there all right as a salesperson you're gonna want to check that out but right there I'd estimate that's about a one foot gap and that is completely possible to get up in there and right now we're not gonna crawl in there but we look we just judge it on yourself would you be able to fit in there would I and you know think I'm a little tough so but and we'll look around and we'll look at this side and come over here and we got the rest of the attic on this side we see it just stops there and the insulation is really nice look and see there's a little crummies it looks like some birds and stuff we'll look at the air venting next okay this deals with the, the the roof plate right this is for foam we need everything that's vented into the attic to be vented outside. So we would do an inspection. This is the first inspection for this I have ever done on my house. Look around. What is going outside is the... Okay, I know my house pretty well. This is the stove pipe for, or the vent for the stove. Good luck, and we'll make sure this thing yeah, is sealed to the outside very nicely. It sure is. They have a vent there. And a roof vent right here. And this pipe goes all the way to the bathroom. And the bathroom's exhaust is vented. And it's in here. And that makes it nice because then we can seal this whole thing up and foam right over it with that vent inside of it. That makes a very nice chamber. Look at the AC unit. Or this is a, not the AC, this is actually the heater. They have to be closed combustion heaters, no open combustion. How to tell the difference? Some of you are going to have to learn because I don't. This one is closed combustion, I can tell you that already. We look over here. Look, it is properly vented out. The flute's right. It has more. The copper piping's in. We look out here. I have my sewage exhaust. It is properly set to the outside. And that's a lot of the attic electrical is nice this would be a great house to use that polyurethane foam we come over here and we would look and that's a long ways down there and, you know if you have good eyeballs you can tell there's no gonna be no bathroom vent there's one bathroom vent and it's vented to the outside but I called back there and you can kind of see it from here if it wasn't a camera it has more air venting but all that with the polyurethane foam we would seal them up and all the roof vents see all the events in this house a few of them have been plugged but most of them are open I think they only plugged one or two and last time I went through this but this attic would be great for any option we want to do remember with polyurethane we would have to remove all this bat work so that would be a uh, price motive unmotivator so but this is a great demonstration of a good size attic and this is only half of it it continues on in the other side of that wall going this way and that would be inside the 
garage area that we currently use for storage. All right. And for coverage costs, you got to remember, this is a California roof. It's going to slant down and cover up, even though it goes into a bigger attic space. It's just the way they sheeted it. So a good installer will know where the roof line actually is, even though it's not marked. All right. Um, that's it about attics. Um, oh, last. Okay, another part.